The thing I get asked the most whenever tarp camping comes up is how do you deal with bugs? So today we're going to look at a few different things you can personally do and a few different things you can use to keep the pesky little bugs away while sleeping at night and during the day as well. Bugs are a very understandable concern given a tarp alone provides excellent protection from the weather but nothing for bugs. This turns a lot of people off of even trying the style, but worry not, here are a few ways of dealing with bugs while tarp camping. So the first thing you can do is pick muted, dark, or tan colors. Nothing really colorful because apparently a lot of bugs are attracted to bright colorful clothing. So you'll always see in my photos that I'm always wearing a white shirt or just like a tannish green shirt or something along those lines and that's for a reason that's uh, been considered because I don't want bugs to be attracted to me. Now another thing you can do before you even leave for your trip is to forgo the deodorant and forgo any sweet smelling scents because a lot of bugs are attracted to those too. Now one last thing you can do before you even leave is go online and try and confirm that there are even going to be bugs where you're traveling to. I know a lot of the times here in Florida, we are very well known for our mosquitoes or our noceums, but during the winter time, they're really not that prevalent. And frankly, everyone hikes during the winter time. So it's just not as big of a deal as you might think. And I guarantee it's the same way around the rest of the country or the area you might be going to, say the southern 700 miles of the Pacific Crest Trail, Bugs just aren't a concern, so you don't need to bring anything extra to deal with them, and thus you can have this super ultralight tarp setup and uh, save a lot of weight. So now that you've ditched your deodorant, you're wearing a nice tan colored t-shirt from Goodwill, and you have confirmed, unfortunately, that there are going to be bugs where you're going. Let's look at a couple of things that you can bring while tarp camping to uh, save you from that. Now remember, one of the biggest factors for why bugs are attacking you is the way you smell. You probably smell really good if mosquitoes are swarming you. And that's also true about DEET. What it is in DEET and a lot of outdoor repellents that bugs don't like is the smell of them. So something I like to do is you don't need to coat yourself in DEET, you don't need to coat yourself in any sort of repellent. I just take a bandana and put a couple little squirts of my bug spray on it. And without having that really touch my skin, I'll tie that around my arm, or you could even tie it around your forehead. Wherever is really getting you the most is where I'll put the bandana. Now a lot of people don't like using things like DEET because it is so bad for the environment and also really bad for you. But I'm going to be the bearer of bad news that if you wish to use citronella, it just does not do the trick. So unfortunately, DEET is really the only thing, the best thing. There are a lot of remedies online that you can find, but I'm really not sure that very many of them actually do anything at all. So when you're inside of a bivy, you actually have like this protective shell all around you that will keep bugs off of you and just repel everything. It not just repels bugs though, it also keeps a little bit of splash if it's a really, really heavy rain and you're getting some splash in on the sides of your tarp, like just down here, then your sleeping bag won't get wet at all as well. So the bivy is a really popular choice and it's really what most people are going to use. On top of all that, it adds about five degrees of warmth to your sleep system. So it's a really nice thing, but for me, the bivy weighs too much. And if I'm adding on an extra six, seven, or eight ounces, I might as well just go with a 10. So here are a couple more options that will uh, save some weight over the bivy. The next thing you can use if you're a little bit more hardcore and you want to save weight over a bivy or you don't think the bugs are going to be so bad is just a head net. And it'll provide a lot of security if you don't think there's going to be bugs but you just want to be sure. This is just one ounce here and you just put it over your head like so. 
So when it's really cold out night and my quilt or my sleeping bag is protecting the entire rest of my body from my neck down, this protects my head and this works just fine. Now I know all of you were asking yourself, what's up with the umbrella? <laughs> and this is actually my favorite system to combat bugs. And this is something that was innovated by Lint. Uh, he's a triple, triple crowner among many other trails. This is something that, to my knowledge, he innovated, created, and used on a lot of those hikes. And I made one a long time ago and absolutely loved it. It's got the funny name of an umbrella condom. Now, if you're better at sewing than I am, this is something that's very easy to make. I just borrowed a friend's sewing machine and basically sandwiched together two large rectangles worth of uh, noceum mesh. So a really tightly woven mesh. And now you'll see why it's called an umbrella condom. I take the mesh, I put my umbrella inside of it, and I open up my umbrella. The greatest part about this system is that it doesn't weigh very much. Mine weighs about four ounces, which is about half the weight of a bivy. So if your tarp weighs seven ounces and your bug netting weighs another four and you're already gonna be carrying an umbrella, which many, many, many hikers do on the Pacific Crest Trail or the Appalachian Trail or the Florida Trail, then this is an incredible option and it is something I personally used for a very long time. So while underneath this thing, I now have a ton of room that I can eat in, that I can live in and be happy in, and everything below me down at this end should be covered by my sleeping bag. So at half the weight of a bivy, and also giving me much more space inside than a bivy, this is my option and this is my go-to when heading into bug country. The only reason I haven't taken it on a full-blown through hike and just 100 mile trips or 200 mile trips here and there is that I have sewn it very poorly. So I've just been a little bit ashamed about that. But it wouldn't take much to make it a lot better and possibly even make it lighter in the process as well. So now you know there's a lot of different ways you can deal with bugs when tarp camping. But the best part of this is you don't have to carry any of it if there aren't any bugs out. So give, say the Pacific Crest Trail again. For the first 700 miles, you don't have to have that extra half pound or pound on your back of bug netting when you don't need it. You can send it to yourself for the Sierra and Oregon and then maybe ditch it again in Washington. And there are a lot of trails where this is the same story or shorter trails that you might do where you don't need any of this for the entire duration. And ultimately saving a ton of weight going with a tarp versus a tent and also having a more interesting experience while you're at it.